G'day Armorholics, Craigcom here. Welcome to my second Armor tutorial video. In this video, we will look at radio triggers, waypoints, and nested tasks to enable the player to control an AI vehicle using the radio. Here we are in the Armor Editor at Stratus Air Base. As you can see, I've placed down a small mission to demonstrate these features of the ARM editor. Let's have a closer look. Here we have a player placed, variable name player1. Here we have an AI vehicle, in this case a Hemet transport, variable name Hemet. Um, the AI vehicle has waypoints placed to provide a mission path. Waypoints are accessed under the waypoints tab and triggers accessed under the triggers tab. The first waypoint placed for the AI vehicle is a hold waypoint. This waypoint is synchronized with a trigger. A standard trigger is placed. Trigger activation type skip waypoint is selected. Activation radio alpha is selected, making this a radio trigger. This trigger is synchronized to the waypoint using set waypoint activation. The AI vehicle has a series of movement waypoints placed to provide a path to the service station. The next waypoint placed is a transport unload waypoint with an activation hint. This waypoint is synchronized with a trigger. A standard trigger is placed Trigger activation type skip waypoint. Activation radio bravo is selected. Trigger expression condition this. The trigger is synchronized with the waypoint using the set waypoint activation. The next waypoint placed for the AI vehicle is a hold waypoint. This waypoint is synchronized with a standard trigger trigger activation type skip waypoint and activation this time radio charlie is selected condition this with an activation hint the last waypoint for the AI vehicle is a hold waypoint to return to base the player has tasks directing the movement we'll have a look at the tasks Tasks are selected under Systems, Intel, Create Task, Set Task State. The first task for the player is a Create Task module placed. Owner All Playable Units, Task ID 1, Title, Get Into Hemet, Destination is Synchronized Object, and Task State Set to Assigned. This task is modified by a trigger. A standard trigger is placed, trigger activation type none, with a trigger expression condition, player 1 in Hemet, semicolon. Uh, this trigger is synchronized to the set task state module. A set task state module is placed and the state set to succeeded. Note this uh, first task is synchronized to, sync to, the player. The synchronized object, in this case the Hemet transport, and the set task state module. The next task for the player 
a create task module is placed. Owner all playable units, task ID 2, title, get ready for contact. The destination is modules position and the state set to created. The task is modified by a trigger. A standard trigger is placed. Trigger activation type none, activation blue force present. And the trigger, uh, a trigger area has been, been defined. The trigger is synchronized to using sync to the task set task state module. The set task state module is set to succeeded. So when blue fours are present in this trigger area, the task is changed from created or assigned to succeeded. Note this trigger has been synced to the next task of the player. A create task module is placed. Owner, all playable units, task ID 3, title, eliminate off fours. Destination is the module position and the state set to assigned. So when this previous trigger uh, is expressed, with the blue force present in the area, this task appears uh, as assigned. The, uh, the task is modified by a trigger. A standard trigger is placed, trigger activation type none, trigger expression condition, exclamation mark, alive, OPF, semicolon. Uh, OPF is the uh, team leader of the OPFORS team variable name OPF of fours. Uh, note the uh, a module is placed from the CBA modules uh, patrol uh, with a standard radius and waypoint count behavior set to careless. This module is synced to the leader of the uh, of fours team. Now the um, this trigger, uh, not a live op forwards, is synced to with the set task state module, uh, setting the task to succeeded in that in the condition, not a live op forwards. Note this trigger is synced to the next task. A create task module is placed. Owner all playable units. Task ID four. Title return to Hemet. RTB with a destination synchronized object selected and the state set to assigned. This uh, module is modified by a tree. Oh, this uh, module is synced to uh, the Hammett. The uh, task once again is modified by a trigger. A standard trigger is placed, type none, activation none, with the trigger expression condition, exclamation mark, alive, OPF, and player one in Hemet, semicolon. The trigger is synced to the set task state module, setting that task to succeeded when those two conditions are met. Uh, note this trigger is synced to the set or the set task state module of the final task. We'll have a look at this uh, task. A create task module is placed owner all playable units task ID 5 title RTB on the module position uh, state set to created. So um, when this trigger, a standard trigger is placed with the condition exclamation mark alive OPF semicolon. When that condition is met this uh, task is created. When the condition of the op is not alive and the player in the Hemet is met the task is set to assigned. Uh, this task is also modified by a trigger. 
a standard trigger is place type none activation any player present uh, trigger expression condition this with an activation hint once again a task state is uh, set task state module is placed uh, with the task state set to succeeded so in the condition that the player is present in this uh, trigger this uh, last task is set to succeeded uh, this trigger is also sync is synced to the set task state module the set task state module is synced to the create task in both cases the uh, trigger is also synced to the end scenario module available in scenario flow under systems Uh, note I've placed down some diary records which we will have a look at in the uh, in a moment so let's see how that uh, mission plays Note that the player has a radio. The AI unit um, starts on its path and uh, reaches the hold waypoint and uh, where he holds until he receives the first radio signal. So on the keyboard, press Ready. 0 to access the menu and then 0 to access the radio and then alpha. assign this uh, manually. Now we have the task assigned. Radio Alpha, Radio Bravo, Radio Charlie. The AI driver has proceeded along its path until we get to the transport unload module. The player is ejected. Uh, with uh, the radio again zero zero two, we can wave and through. Order the uh, AI team member to dismount. Moving through the trigger area, the next task is assigned. Spotted. Soldier, 100 meters front. Contact. Foot. 75 meters front. Waiting. Get in that vehicle. Copy. Waiting. 
0003 enables RTB. like to say thanks to Bohemian Interactive for armor, uh, thanks to the YouTubers for um, showing us uh, a lot of um, stuff in the editor, also thanks to Vivekananda Leng Kong for requesting this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial I will have a look at uh, players starting in an AI vehicle at the start of the mission and then to uh, delete, to, to despawn de the AI vehicle. If you have any uh, comments or feedback please feel free to leave them in the section below and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.